Howard on the first play goes 64 yards for a Michigan touchdown. Well, that is another record breaker, as everyone is. The magic man has done it again. 64 yards with that quick flanker screen on the first offensive play for the Wolverines. That is a record 20th touchdown on the season for Howard. A record tying 30th touchdown combination between Gerback and Howard in the NCAA Ales and a 6-0 lead for Michigan. We'll run down all the records for you as we go along. The extra point attempt by Carlson out of the hold of Solom is up and good. We have played a minute, 38 seconds. That's all. Michigan has had the ball one play and leads 7-0 on Desmond Howard's 20th touchdown of the year. And forced him to throw it away. Michigan changing defensively to five defensive backs in this passing situation on third and 11. Ball on the right hash. Agacott almost jumps offside. Williams giving out a draw. Up the middle comes Dennis Lundy, the leading rusher, the freshman out of Tampa, Florida. He'll gain about five to the 34, and that's it. The snap to Sutter for the punt. Michigan comes through. The kick partially blocked by Otis Williams, and it bounces forward. Northwestern will down the ball at its own 41-yard line, and the Wolverines take over there. Otis Williams got through to partially block the kick. Field left. But it's a running play out of the eye. Powers goes right, breaks through a big hole. 30, cuts back, 25, 20 to the outside. 15 being chased to the 10, to the inside at the 5, and hauled down at the 2 by Anthony Perquette, the junior out of Detroit Cooley. Ricky Powers goes 36 yards. And so Michigan has run two plays from scrimmage, scored a touchdown on one, and has totaled 100 yards in offense. We'll see. Backs in the eye. Powers and Leggett. Quick toss. Powers going left around the corner. He'll go in untouched. Touchdown, Michigan. Ricky Powers goes in from two yards out. The Wolverines lead 13 to nothing. They have had the ball for a total of three offensive plays. They have scored two touchdowns. The 20th of the year by Desmond Howard. And now for Ricky Powers, his seventh touchdown of the year. 112th consecutive successful PAT. 11-22 left first quarter. Michigan 14. Northwestern nothing. Now this kick hooking toward the near sideline. It's going to go out of bounds and no trouble. Fires near sideline. It's caught by the fullback Zipful and he'll step out of bounds. Around. That was just knocking Ricky Powers out of bounds. Backs in the offset eye. Zipful and Dixon hand off to the tailback Dixon. He's trying to fight his way toward the middle of the line. Fumbles the football, and Michigan may have it on the 38, and they do. Brian Townsend came up with the ball, and the Wolverines, after Buster Stanley knocked it loose, get it back inside the Northwestern 40. They'll call it the Wildcats' 37-yard line. Out to the right, Yale Van Dyne. Here's the end around to Howard. He eludes two men with a nice cut to the 40, 35, 30, back inside 20, and he is hit from behind and hauled down at the 18-yard line on a touchdown-saving tackle by the Roverback Dwight James. He's on the Cats' 18-yard line, leading 14-0. Van Dyne split right, Howard split left, backs in the eye, powers behind Leggett. Here's Gerback to throw, quick slant, incomplete, he led Van Dyne too much, and Willie Lindsay nearly got his sixth interception of the year. He got a hand on it. But wide side left, he's got double coverage over there. He likes the post corner against that kind of coverage, though, so it's not unbeatable. Gerback to throw, looking right, firing on a slant. Van Dyne's got it down inside the 10. Willie Lindsay holds on for dear life and hauls him down at the six-yard line. Again, it's a running play. Ricky Powers off the right side is hit from behind by the linebacker Ostrowski, but carries him into the end zone for another touchdown. We played 453. The Wolverines are up 20 to nothing. A six yard run by Ricky Powers for his second TD of the game. Have run seven plays. They have gained 139 yards and they have scored three touchdowns. J.D. Carlson attempting the extra point. The snap placed down by Solom. The kick is up, and it is good. It is Michigan 21, Northwestern nothing, with 10.07 remaining in the first quarter. 
as we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. High centers, Michael centers up the right side to the 25, to the 27, and he's really upended there. And the Wolverines are taking this game seriously. That's Zipfell in the backfield with the Lundy in the handoff to Zipfell straight up the middle and he'll get a couple of yards out comes Lundy and a quick hitter up the middle out to about the 32 yard line for a game the wave started here at Michigan Stadium boy they had a couple of new ones last week against Purdue the one I guess quickly has been named the Pogo <laughs> and I'm not sure what they're going to call the other one. Third and five the Wildcats on their 33 Williams to throw has some time now running out of there sack. Back at the 29-yard line. Yep. Michigan doesn't rush him, and Sutter kicks it away. Hangs it high. Desmond Howard fumbles it. Races to his left, and Northwestern recovers at the 37-yard line. 37, trailing 21-0. Williams gives it to Lundy, and the tailback squirts through on the right side, inside the 30, and down to the Michigan 28-yard line. A quick nine yards be later. Here's Williams giving it to Lundy around the right side. First down and more inside the Michigan 25, inside the 20, and finally Corn Flakes Brown and Dwayne Ware haul him down at the 15. He'll get it back to the 15-yard line, and that's it. I and mean, back goes Williams. He throws over the middle wide open. Is the split end Lee Gisson. Dana he pulls it in at the two and goes in for the touchdown. And Northwestern is on the board with 6.34 remaining in the first quarter. As Len Williams finds Lee Gissendainer, his split end over the middle, uncovered. Extra point attempt by Leahy. A bad snap, but they got it down, and Leahy gets it up and through. And so the Wildcats have cut Michigan's lead to 14. With field before he is finally hauled down at the Northwestern 48 by the linebacker Ostrowski. Aid with the fumbled pump return earlier. Michigan now at the Cats, 48, just like that, leading 21-7. Van Dyne in motion right, a fake toss to Powers. Back goes Gerback, rolling to his right to throw, firing on the run. Howard breaks off his route, makes the catch at the 25, and falls out of bounds in front of Willie Lindsay, a gain of 23 yards and a first down. Smith is flanked out to the right. Van Dyne split to the left. The backs, Leggett in the eye. In front of Jesse Johnson, who's checked in for the first time. The handoff to Jesse. Right up the middle, he's drilled by John Hellebush. And Howard split right. The pass to him on a quick screen, batted down by Hellebush. The defensive tackle at the line of scrimmage again. On third and 12, back goes Gerback. Flags all over the place. Elvis throws near side, incomplete for Walter Smith. Threw it too high. Solom will hold for a 44-yard field goal attempt by J.D. Carlson. Ball on the right hash. Here's the snap, placed down. J.D.'s got it up. Good foot to it. Long enough, but it is wide to the right. It is no good from 44 yards. Looked pretty close, Warren. Very close. I would say two whiffs of the football here just missing the right upright. Certainly had the distance. It had the height. But I would say about two whiffs of the football, it missed it. So Michigan fails to score for the first time this afternoon. It's on a draw to Lundy going right. And he is tackled at the 30-yard line by... Williams back to throw on second and seven, firing to the far sideline over the head of Gissendainer. Out of both wideouts to the right, running play. Lundy squirts through the left side, out to the 20, spins through a tackle out to the 24. Benson split to the right. Gissendainer who scored the touchdowns out to the left. And now zip for the fullback in motion. Fake to Lundy. Back goes Williams. Agakon coming. Williams runs out of there, takes off near the 35, hit by Marcus Walker and dropped in the open field a couple of yards short of a first down. Eric Anderson cleaned it up, but Conrad Jones, the snapper, sends it back. And Sutter drills it. Howard, who fumbled the last punt, goes way back to his 15, fields this one cleanly. Field 20, going to his right, 25, 30, breaks one tackle, and then two other cats hit him and haul him down up at the 34-yard line after a 19-yard run back. 54-yard screen pass broke two Michigan school records as Jesse Johnson tears off the right side with the handoff out of the eye, gets up to about the 37. Second and seven for the Wolverines at their own 37. Northwestern with four men up front. Draw play. Jesse Johnson, good blocking. Up 40, 45. Back to his right at midfield, and he is hit by Marlon Collins, the safety, and hauled down at the Wildcats. 48, a gain of 15 and a first down. Steve Everett in there at center. 
Back in the lineup, and Michigan used too much time. Running plays and gained 80 yards, an average of more than 11. Michigan running out of time again, and Gerbach has to call timeout. That's inexcusable right there. Get a whole delay penalty to get your play in and get it called at the line of scrimmage. You don't huddle, and you really have got to get that play called. What? Gerbach dropping to throw, looking to his right, now sets up screen left, juggled, caught by Jesse Johnson. Down to the 50, 45, to the 40, hit from behind by Sutter, and hauled down at the Wildcats' 33-yard line. Both wideouts, Howard and Van Dyne, out to the right now. First down, ball on the left hash at the Wildcats' 34. Hand off to Bernie Leggett. And Bernie is, or uh, check that, Greg McThomas, and he's traded rather rudely as he got to the 32. That's the short side, Van Dyne to the right. We're down to 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Michigan up 21-7. Good fake by Gerbach to Johnson. Now he throws deep in the end zone to Howard. He cannot hold it. Triple coverage back there. And Desmond did a great job shielding the ball away from Anthony Perquette, the defensive back out of Detroit. Cooley juggled the football and nearly made the catch in the end zone when he had no business catching it. What ball at the Cats. 32, here's a fake to Powers, Gerbach to throw, looking to his right, and fires to a wide open Van Dyne, he overthrew him. Oh boy, he'd like to have that one back. It's not exactly been easy in coming this year with J.D. Carlson making only six of 14, but they're going to try one, apparently. Well, it'd be nice to have J.D. make one. You know, he's really had a difficult year. Some say that he's that he's psyched out by the uh, goalposts that are a little narrower, but it'd be nice to have him make one, particularly as you're going into these last two games, get his confidence back. Mark Elliott snaps it back to Ken Solom. Here's the kick from 50. It is good! Just got over the crossbar near the right upright. Warren Pierce very close, but he got it through there. I tell you what, if it would have been a quarter of an inch shorter, it would have hit the goalpost. And then, of course, the crossbar. Then, of course, it was anybody's guess where it was going to go. But you can see where I'm standing. It just did clear the crossbar here for a field goal. 50 yards for J.D. Carlson, his longest of the year. And now the crowd is happy with the decision. The same crowd that was shouting, go, go, and booing the decision to try it. Michigan moves at 34 yards. Carlson hits from 50, and it's a 24-7 ball game. Imagine what those solid purple uniforms look like against Illinois. Kind of a violet, isn't it, Frank? Yeah, and lavenders more like it. <laughs> Here's the kickoff by Carlson coming down to centers at the 11. He heads up the right hash to the 20, hesitates, oh, cuts to his right. The ball's on the turf. Who's got it? Pat Maloney says the Wolverines do, and so does the referee, Jerry Hendrickson, and Michigan has it at the 26. In the first quarter, out of the eye, the handoff, Jesse Johnson, left side, he bursts through at the 20. He is hit there by Marlon Collins. He carries him eight yards down to about the 13-yard line, and it looked like his face mask is the only thing that allowed Collins to make the tackle. There is a flag down. And illegal use of the hands, offense, first down. First down, the ball is moved back to the 24-yard line. Very interesting and wild first quarter. Northwestern fumbles the ball away twice. Michigan partially blocks a punt. Desmond Howard has a record-setting touchdown. It's 24-7 Michigan after one period. Will be. Bounces outside right. He's got clear sailing all the way to the end zone. Touchdown! Greg McThomas was out in front, blocking Willie Lindsay, the corner, back into the end zone, and Jesse Johnson just sort of followed him downfield. Nobody laid a finger on him, and Jesse goes 13 yards for a TD, and it's 30 to 7. And Greg Skrepnik, who's having an outlander year, trophy year, that kind of that's the kind of performance he's been putting in, buried a man. I mean, he buried a guy into that turf. Point. That would give him 114 in a row as he continues to add to his Big Ten record. The kick he is good. So we have played all of six seconds here in the second quarter. A minute and six seconds, I should say. It is Michigan 31, Northwestern 7, and we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. To his right, gets up over the 20, and Deion Johnson spins him down at the 22. On the board now, 55 against Chicago. In 1939, I don't think that was the Bears, was it? <laughs> no, certainly, and that wasn't Just the, kidding. the Chicago of Jay Burwinger. I'm sure it was after they left the Big Ten. They scored 34 in the second quarter that day. Williams off a play action fake, drops to throw, has time, fires incomplete for Benson on the right sideline. Boy, left, Gissendane to the right. It's a running play, though, and the 
Handoff goes to the fullback Billy Greenwald who has checked in. Neil Simpson will haul him down after a short gain to the 25. Western on the 25. It's the option play. Williams in trouble. He's getting a yard or so. That's it. But he kicks it away and he's hammered another one. Desmond going back. It's over his head. Hits at the 16. He's going to let it roll. Oh, this is going to be a great punt. It's going to be down at the 8-yard line. A 64, 66-yard punt. Get to the action first. Elvis Gerback with two tight ends. McGee on the left. Ebold right. Howard split to the right. Backs in the eye. McThomas and Johnson. Handoff. Jesse coming up the middle. Got to the 10. That's it. That was here, wasn't it? We'll have to check. Second down and eight. Michigan on its own 10. Here's Gerback to throw. Pumps once. He's going to go deep for Howard, but he has hit. Fumbles the ball. It goes into the arms of Tony McGee, and then he fumbled it at the seven. And McGee falls on the ball there. It'll be a loss of three. Well, let him go to Desmond Howard. They were going to heave it to him deep. And Gerbach had his arm hit from behind, and the ball shook loose, and when he fumbled it, it fell right into the hands of Tony McGee. And three wideouts in the game now for the Wolverines. They got Walter Smith to the left, Van Dyne and Howard to the right, Gerbach to throw, wants to set up a screen and does, gets it out to Powers, he's got running room, 10, 15, 20, 30, up the sideline to the 35, Desmond Howard blocking on Willie Lindsay, and Lindsay finally knocks Ricky Powers out of bounds at the Michigan 38 first and Michigan winds up officially with 33 yards on that screen first down out at the 40. Here's a handoff to McThomas the fullback breaks through the left side to midfield and into Northwestern territory to the 43. Before it was hurt he got 17 yards equaling his season high against Michigan State. You're back to throw pumps once fires to the sideline caught by Van Dyne inside the 30 he steps out of bounds at the 26 and 04 remaining in the first half Walter Smith in motion left where Howard is set now stops goes back the other way running play powers up the middle he is hit right in the middle of the line by Jason Cunningham second and six Michigan at the Northwestern 22 here is a fake to Powers Gerback to throw post corner Howard breaking open in the end zone but it's batted down by Greg Hill who recovered well to keep Desmond from hauling in his second TD catch of the day. The Northwestern 22 backs in the eye blitz coming handoff Powers breaks through the right side look out 20 15 breaks the tackle to the 10 and stepped out of bounds at the 9 Steve Ostrowski Willie Lindsay holding on Michigan makes Northwestern pay for the blitz by bursting Ricky Powers through for 13 long time until the defensive backs can bring him down because there is no one behind the line of scrimmage played we've got 906 remaining in the half Michigan has 310 yards in offense backs in the eye you've got Jesse Johnson behind McThomas and the handoff Jesse straight up the middle he'll be necktied at the goal line by Lindsay but he scores Michigan is into the end zone again Jesse Johnson with his second touchdown of the quarter and it is 37 to 7 with 902 yet remaining in the first half. Had him necktied at the goal line. He, he couldn't bring him down, but he, he got had him close. Necktied. He got close. J.D. Carlson is wearing out that right leg of his, puts the extra point through. It is Michigan 38 and Northwestern 7. Let's pause right now for these words on the Michigan Football Network. And short, Michael Centers will come up and grab it on the 17, comes up the right side to the 20. Martin Davis just blasted him at the 25. 15. The option play, the handoff up the middle to Billy Greenwald, the fullback, and he's got a first down to the 37. Seven lead over the Wildcats here this afternoon. Let's go downstairs right now. 38-7 with eight minutes left in the half. First down for the Wildcats. Ball on the right hash mark. Mark Benson coming in motion. Option play. Williams going to keep it, and he's going to be hit by Martin Davis and spun down at the 39 graduated <laughs> here's Williams off a of play action fake in some trouble somehow he gets rid of the ball in the right flat and completes it out there to it looked like Zipfel the fullback quarterback for the second year here's the handoff to Rodney Ray going right he's not going to get the first down Neil Simpson with a great play out there and he had some help from Eric Anderson the Butkus Award candidate and Marcus Walker this cold here's a low snap and Sutter somehow scoops it up on the second bounce kicks it away Van Dyne takes it on a hop at the 18 heads up the right sideline to the 20 25 
And you can hear the pads cracking as he's knocked out of bounds at the 31. Taking over at quarterback. So Gary Moeller has uh, called off the dogs, so to speak. Hand off to Bernie Leggett going to his left. Leggett running in front of Wheatley gets out to the 33 for a gain of two. With the exception of Doherty, who's in a right tackle. Manning in at center. Collins calling the signal. Signals out to Walter Smith. And Todd drops to throw, firing left side. It's caught by Felman Malvo, the freshman out of Beaumont, Texas. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39 by Detroit's Anthony Perquette. Gain is the left guard, and Brian Wallace, the left tackle. Two tight ends, Diebold on the right, McGee left, Tyrone Wheatley the only setback on third and two. Here's the handoff to Wheatley going right, stood up in the backfield, fights to the 40, and he might have the first down. Going to be close. We'll see where they mark it. Northwestern came blitzing through with Ed Sutter again, and it's not a percentage play to go for it fourth and inches on your own 40. But it's 38 to 7, too. The only question now is the final score, quite frankly. Handoff Wheatley going right, burst through, up to midfield, is hit, spins away from one, two tacklers, down to the 45 to the 43 of Northwestern. That's a first down. What a run for 17 yards. That is the best run we have seen out of Tyrone Wheatley. And with the great moves that started at Dearborn Heights Robichaud High School. Here's Wheatley sweeping the right with a burst, gets down to the 40, and then is really popped by Ed Sutter, and down he goes at quarterback. Wheatley running behind Leggett in the eye. Handoff going to Wheatley, short side, gets about three or four down to the 36-yard line. John Hellebush is for the Wolverines. Malvo to the right. John Ellison slot left, Walter Smith wide that way. Tossed to Wheatley going to the left, and Northwestern's not going to let him get the first down. He gets to the 35, and he's gang tackled. Fourth down a yard, Michigan goes for it. Wheatley running behind Leggett in the eye. Only one wide out, Smith to the right, tossed to Wheatley, sweeping right, he's hemmed in, cuts it back to the inside, and has a first down to the 29. Marlon Collins, the free safety, made the tackle. He just done with a quick burst of acceleration. Michigan up by 31. Wolverines with 16 first downs. McThomas and Wheatley in the eye. Collins fakes to Wheatley against the blitz going deep. Post corner. The freshman Malvo makes the catch inside the five and then drops the ball as he's coming down. Oh boy. He had to wait for it. Anthony Perquet was trying to catch up to defend against that pass and Collins under the blitz under through Malvo just slightly and the freshman couldn't hold on. I think Collins is going to be a great quarterback. Second and ten. Toss sweep. Wheatley going to a right. High steps it over two men. Cuts back inside another with the ten. Down the five. Is bumped. And did he stay in bounds? Touchdown. Yes. Touchdown. What a run by Tyrone Wheatley. Marlon Collins thought he had him out of bounds at the five and somehow Wheatley stayed in and went 29 yards for a spectacular touchdown. Wow. That was some run. I don't care if you do that <laughs> against, uh, you know, Van Hoosen Middle School in Rochester <laughs> Hills. That is a great run. Well, he displayed great athletic talents. I mean, not only did he break tackles, I don't know whose tackles he was breaking, if they're great players or not, but he was off balance, regained his balance, showed great determination, great balance, great run. 44-7, the extra point by Carlson is up and it is good. It's 45 to seven. We've still got a minute 34 remaining in the first half as we pause for these words on the Michigan football Network. Northwestern's dreams of the biggest upset in Wildcat history have long since disappeared and become a nightmare. Len Williams to throw under some pressure, delivers it complete to his tight end, David Cross. From the 45 minute 10 remaining in the half, Northwestern with two timeouts remaining. Job someday might have a chance to go to the University of Michigan. And there he is. His name is Marcus. He's doing the job. Playing for the injured Steve Morrison to return to practice this week. Williams to throw, fires a strike on the right sideline to Benson, and Benson is in Michigan territory. Standing in the half, and now the clock stops. That's the first catch for Northwestern's leading receiver today. Never did recover. The handoff to Rodney Ray, the tailback, trying to get that first down. It's going to be very close. 
Rakowski up front with Alex Marshall and Henderson as Williams drops to throw, pumps once. Now he's going to run. He gets out of there to the 45, and he's hit by Eric Anderson, and down he goes at the 42. Remaining in the half. Now they take a timeout. That'll be the last one for Northwestern. Would, would drop Ohio State, we'd drop Northwestern. Second, it's well, you sound bitter about we that. We always thought that was unfair. <laughs> All set to go. 13 seconds remaining in the half. Out of the shotgun, Williams setting up to throw at midfield. Firing short, and that ball is caught under the coverage. Looked like Chip Morris. It is. The backup split end. He's down to the 35. Five seconds remaining in the half. First down. The clock stops as the chains are moved. No. Well, he <laughs> grounds the ball and stops the clock with two seconds left. So it's an incomplete pass, and that'll give him a chance to call a play. Now I'm going to run all three receivers down to the end zone. That's what they shall do. That's what I thought they would do that time. Team during the course of the game is a team that's going to be successful. Well, they split three receivers right. Williams to throw out of the gun. Martin Davis gets through it, hits him as he throws, still manages to get it down to the goal line, and it's incomplete. Batted down with five Wolverines back there. Nate Holdren knocking it down. Warren Pierce is with Northwestern coach Francis Pay as the half ends. You come in here with high hopes, have to be disappointed about the way the first half went. Oh, well, as we all know, Michigan's a pretty doggone good football team. We turned the ball over uh, three times in the first quarter. Uh, they're inside our 30-yard line three times. You can't do that against Michigan and hope to be uh, in a ball game, be competitive. We won't hang our heads about that. We'll go in, uh, get ourselves adjusted, and come back out, play football in the second half. What Damn you, right. Cats, what, what, do, what do you tell them at halftime here? Tell them everything that they need to correct and work on. All right, thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. right, Warren, thank you. We're at halftime. Michigan dominating Northwestern. Our score, the Wolverines 45, the Wildcats 7. We'll be back right after these words on the Michigan Football Network. The other thing is that we want to get some of these kids uh, ready to play when they have to uh, go, possibly in the next two weeks. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, Leahy's kickoff fielded by Desmond Howard at the 12. It was a bouncing kick, and he ran it back over the 30 and out to about the 32. Elliott has moved See, over to center. So they... there wasn't a fumble. Uh, there was an exchange of uh, problem. Back goes Gerbeck on second and 19. Fires that middle screen to Howard. He scored on this last week. He'll get only nine yards this <laughs> week out to the 41, uh, 31 rather. Dwight James, the rover, came in to make the tackle. That is 31. Howard and Van Dyne split to the right. Walter Smith to the left. One setback. And that's Bernie Leggett. Big blitz coming and Gerback throws it in a hurry. Incomplete to Howard on an out route to the near sideline. Got the ball back and, and ran effectively against him. So they decided to go back to a gambling pressure defense. And Michigan, of course, has done well against that also. And he has Kona to punt. That was the shortest timeout in history. Michigan just wanted to get set. Bad snap, but as Kona gets it away, it's a very short, poor kick. Gissendater won't be able to run it back. Inside, breaks a tackle at the 40. He's out to the 45 to midfield before Cornflakes Brown could haul him down with Dwayne Ware. In the past, everybody did. Williams back to throw, has time, firing it out left side to Lundy. He's got it, 50, 45, is inside the Michigan 40, and finally hauled down by Lance Dutton around the 36 or 37. And here's Williams rolling that way to throw. He's going to take off. Now he's right around the line of scrimmage when he throws the football suddenly, right through the hands of Gissendater, incomplete. The perimeter. Gissendaner, who has the Northwestern touchdown split right, Benson left. Here's Williams to throw to Benson on a crossing route. He runs right through Nate Holdren at the 30. And Evans, they are doing that. Evans, Stanley, and Hutchinson up front, or Henderson for the Wolverines. Play action fake to Lundy and back to throw is Williams. And here comes Henderson. And he hauls him down back on the 30 for a sack and a five-yard loss. Bro tries to give out a draw, runs into Lundy, keeps it himself, gets down to the 30, hit from behind by Townsend. And, and Williams is in the shotgun, and he looks at the Michigan defense, doesn't like what he sees, and he calls a timeout. Ten Leahy, incidentally, uh, is the nephew of New York Jets place kicker Pat Leahy. Not sure we're going to see Brian the rest of the ball game, so wanted to let you know that piece of information from his family tree. Fourth down. Northwestern goes for it. Williams rolls out. Now he takes off to the 20. Neat move at the 15. He's got the first down to the 12-yard line. And Zipful in the backfield. Lundy is the tailback or halfback. And Zipful with the high-top shoes goes in motion. And Northwestern uses too much time. Offset eye. Williams gives on a draw. Dennis Lundy going right. Runs away from Townsend, but not Otis Williams. He's got him from behind. Tendainer left. Benson, the flanker to the right. 
Williams to throw under some heavy pressure. Fires incomplete for Benson off his fingertips. Third down, the pass out in the right flat incomplete intended for Lundy, the running back, and it's fourth down for Northwestern. Oh. Northwestern is one out of nine today in third down situations. The holder, Greg Fisher, puts it down. Here's the kick by Leahy. It is up. It is long enough, but it is wide to the right and no good. And with 8-10 left in the third quarter, it's still 45-7 Michigan, and that didn't look too close, Warren Pierce. No, about 10 yards wide of the right upright. So Michigan will take over the ball on its own 20-yard line. And uh, the number one offense is coming back out for this possession, Blake. First can block the kick, and that time they killed the, the left side of Northwestern's uh, That's about field nine, goal unit. That's <laughs> about 900 pounds. Here's a fake toss to Powers and a little swing pass to Van Dyne in the right flat. He's up 30, 35, got Kokozo in front, 45, 50, got a defender grabbing his jersey at the 40, 35, and down to the Northwestern 34, where Marlon Collins finally got both hands on the jersey and pulled him out of bounds. That guy is a factor. You've got to account for him. He's caught 29 passes on the year. Gerbach on a delay to Powers coming up the middle, runs into traffic at the 30 and falls forward to the 28 or 27. And Dine gets a rest. Howard split left. Walter Smith to the right at the 28. There's a handoff. Powers running to his left. Breaks a tackle by Ostrowski and gets it down to the 20-yard line for a gain of eight and a first down. A Howard split to the right. Smith in a slot that way, but it's a running play. Here comes Leggett off right guard. He just powers his way down to the 12-yard line. Gain of eight. A great job. I mean, he doesn't make mistakes, and that's, that is missed. Uh, he's communicating to Desmond Howard. I see you in man coverage. Now Northwestern drops off James to safety. Now he comes up to blitz. Howard's got man coverage. We're back to throw. He's looking, fires to Howard, outcut, and he tumbles out of bounds at the six-yard line. But he has a first down, a gain of six. Up there. Now James starts inching over. First and goal at the six. Running play out of the eye, and Ricky Powers runs into traffic at the five. Breaks one tackle. Gets it down to about the four, and then he's bumped back by Marlon Collins and Dwight James. The run it in if that, if that in fact, what the defense does. Well, and Desmond's out there again. You've got Leggett and Powers in the eye. Running play. Ricky going to a right. Bounces it outside to the four. Breaks a tackle there. Hit from behind after breaking Cunningham's tackle. Knocked out of bounds at the one by Ed Sutter. And Howard split to the left. The backs Leggett and Powers in the eye. Two tight ends. McGee left. Ebold right. Ball on the right hash mark. Gerback turns. Tosses it to Powers. Going around the right side. Plows into traffic at the one and gets over for the touchdown. Ricky Powers with his third touchdown of the ball game. And the Wolverines lead it 51 to 7 with 521 left in the third quarter. Well, they put Howard to one side and Michigan kept pounding the other side, the right side, because they had to take two men to cover uh, cover Howard. And the equation was right where Michigan would have enough blockers to handle the, the Northwestern defenders one on one, and they merely pounded it in. Well, Ricky Powers has got a streak of his own going now. He's had three straight games where he scored at least two touchdowns. He has seven touchdowns in the last three ball games. The extra point attempt by J.D. Carlson is up, and it is good. And with 5.21 left in the third quarter, our score now, Michigan 52, Northwestern 7, and we pause for these words on the Michigan Football Network. Oh, is he drilled. Randy Stark. Hit him at the 24. His centers literally put his head down and just said, I know I'm going to get killed here, and I'm just going to take it easy. Meantime, Shante Peoples was drilled by one of the Northwestern blockers and is slow getting up. Williams firing near side, and Benson makes a nice catch over his shoulder over the 35. Makes a couple of moves. He leads three defenders to the 40 and out to the 43. The Cats run the ball with Rodney Ray, and he nearly lost it. Coming into the line, spun down by Steve Rakowski. No game. Northwestern on its own 44. Williams back to throw. Big rush. Just gets rid of it and throws it over the head of Gissendaner. Incomplete. Inside linebacker. Here's Williams to throw on third down. Looking right. Fires it. Caught it midfield. Dunlar missed the tackle on Rodney Ray. Went right over the top of him. 
be effective. Fourth and two, Northwestern goes for it. Out of the eye, a fake to Ray. Williams throws on the run, incomplete in the right flat for Dennis Lundy. Out there on the coverage was Alfie Birch. Deion Johnson came up to make the play on the corner blitz, and it's fourth down, uh, first down for Michigan as they take over on downs at their own 49. People still left in the stadium today. Well, the Michigan offense has been has been enjoyable to watch, and anytime Desmond Howard is on the field, he's he's certainly worth the price of a mission, regardless of whether or not it's uh, a close game. Well, he's not out there now. Michigan going to the second unit. Walter Smith is to the short side left. Felman Malvo, the freshman to the right. You've got McThomas and Jesse Johnson in the eye. Jesse gets the handoff and runs right into John Hellebush. The Todd Collins calls the signals. Misdirection play. Johnson running left. Gets a couple to the 47 and is stood up there by Thomas Homko. Stadium. I'm waiting for the pogo. Well, they haven't done the pogo yet. <laughs> I kind of like this wave, though. This is a good one. This is uh, fast forward. With 2.20 left in the third quarter and Michigan up 52 to 7. You missed it, Blade. That was your chance. <laughs> Three wide outs for Collins who drops to throw. Four man rush, but he's got time. Lofting it up deep. Malvo breaking open the ball. Underthrown. He has to wait for it. And that allows Willie Lindsay to recover and break it up at the 10. Give me that hand signal. Then he has got it a punt. Northwestern big rush and Eddie kicks it away end over end hits at the 20 bounces up at the 17 it will not be fielded by the Wildcats and you get that on every level don't you junior high into high school high school into college college into pro running play with Dennis Lundy coming off left tackle for minute. the great ones have it here we go blade the pogo <laughs> I'm worried about the foundation of the stadium here the pogo has begun. Here's Williams to throw, wondering what he's seeing, and throws it into the third row behind the Northwestern bench, way over the head of Benson, incomplete. He says, wait a minute, what was that? <laughs> He's all these fans jumping up and down in place. Last week we thought they were running in place, but uh, they're hopping. Person in front of you, and just start rocking frontwards and backwards. And it starts in the student section, and everybody else will catch on eventually. I'm going to personally name that the Robo. Williams to throw on third and eight from the 17, flushed out by Rakowski, and heaves it incomplete. His receiver, Benson, was at the 42. The pass landed at the Michigan 40. Closest man to it, Dave Ritter at midfield. It's fourth down. And now the student section is in some disarray. They'd better call timeout <laughs> down there. Some are doing the pogo, some the rowboat, and some well, the fast way. You know, that, that's something you don't get in any other sport except for college basketball, and that's what separates this thing. The student section is so much fun, and, and the color of, of a college game is, is, is almost unequal, in my opinion. Ed Sutter to punt. Van Dyne fields it over his shoulder back on the 35, runs straight up field to the 45, and is tackled at the Michigan 48. Here in the third quarter now. Here's a uh, here's a new one, Blade. You tell me what this is. This is the clap. This is unbelievable. This is the uh, the penguin clap. Both <laughs> hands in front, arms extended. You're not giving Warren a chance. One hand come on up top of the other, and everyone claps. It's a neat sound when everyone's wearing gloves like Warren today too. Say. We'll get Warren's comments on this in a moment. Collins throws incomplete on a quick out to Walter Smith along the Michigan bench. Warren, uh, have you seen that one before? No, that's a new one. I would call that the Joan Rivers clap. She used to, <laughs> she used to do that when she was filling in on The Tonight Show. You know how that used to way she used to clap in front of her body with one hand on top and the other on the bottom, and then she, I think she, she did it on her own uh, talk show as well. Hey, we'll the tomahawk the chop. How about the tomahawk chop? No, no, no not, not even close to that. Well, now it is. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we got to go over and tell him not to do that. Well, I'm sorry. They can do it if they want. Well, that's one of the more <laughs> offensive chants I've ever heard. <laughs> I can't hear them. Here's the pass to Malvo. Oh, as he popped and he can't hold on down at the 40-yard line. Big hit by Greg Gill. Malvo had to go up in the air for that pass on the out cut at the 40. And Gill on day. Drops to throw. Blitz coming. Sutter's in there. Collins got away from him. 
He's up to the 45. He tries to make a cut. He got to the 50, tumbling forward, losing his balance. He gains three yards to the Northwestern 49. Great effort. It wasn't pretty, folks. Well, that time he dazzled him with his awkwardness. That's why they missed the tackles. But he did a great how job of escaping. Move, getting away from Sutter. I though. don't know how he got away from Sutter. Sutter got through. I mean, it was perfectly timed. A running start on the blitz. Got through and was all over Collins before he got back to set up. And Collins somehow got away from him. And I'll tell you, it was a neat three-yard run. As Kona will punt. And the officials blow their whistles. I'm not sure why. That's the quarter. Our second clock didn't go to zero. It just went blank. But the... Big game clock also went down to all zeros. That is the end of the third quarter. Michigan 52, Northwestern 7. We'll be back for more fun here at Michigan Stadium right after these words on the Michigan Football Network. Straight up the middle comes uh, the fullback, like Billy Greenwald. And the ball is tipped and almost a one-handed interception by Shantae Peoples. Just couldn't quite hold on. Pulls away from Marshall, cuts to his left. Over the 30 and out to the 32 or 33 before he is finally wrapped up. Steve Rakowski down there on the tackle, down at the bottom of the pile. Alfie Birch, Otis Williams. Oh, they fake it to Lundy, and Williams going to keep it around the right side. He gets the first down, but pays the price and fumbles, and they're going to rule he was down. Dyson and Martin Davis, the outside backers, hand off to Ray. Dyson gets a hand on him and knocks him down at the 39. Williams to throw, fires left side. He's got Benson at midfield, and he is spun out of bounds by Alfie Birch around the Michigan 48. Straight back to throw, gives on a draw play to Rodney Ray, and he is going to be hit for a loss. He could be in real trouble. Here's a fake to Ray. Williams to throw. Here comes Aga Khan. The pass is complete on the right side to Billy Greenwald, the fullback. He's down to the 46, and Martin Davis hits him. Williams back to throw. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off. Down to the 45, down to the 40. Close to a first down as he dives forward around the 38-yard line. Again, Rodney Ray going to his right. Checking Lundy. Lundy down to the 30. Five breaks a tackle at the 30 by Dave Ritter. I hope you didn't pick up Ritter's reaction to missing that tackle as Lundy goes out of bounds at the 30 after a gain of eight. You got no. Ray Jackson. No, that's not him. It's not? No. Len Williams on the option play. Martin Davis hits him and knocks him down at the 32-yard line, a loss of two. Another one. All right, Ray I'm telling you. Ray Jackson. Williams to throw, firing. He's got a man open. It's Benson. He hauls it in at the 10-yard line and is wrestled out of bounds at the Michigan 9 by Dion Johnson. We opened it up to phone callers, and they called the station and said, tell Frank it is Ray Jackson. It's okay, it's Ray Jackson, the fifth <laughs> one. Thank you, everyone. Nice to know you're still with us at 52-7. to 7. We hope you were doing the pogo a short time ago. Reporting Sacred Heart. Nice to see you. Ernie Jones is a great supporter of Michigan in every way. Len Williams off a play action fake to throw in the end zone for a touchdown to Len Gissendainer, his second TD catch of the game from nine yards out. Boy, he's got a trip to Michigan Stadium to remember, the sophomore out of Stowe, Ohio. His first two collegiate touchdowns have come this afternoon against Michigan. Well, there's a play action boot. And Williams threw back against the grain, which is very difficult to do, but he just got it in between two Michigan defenders. Just got it in there. Threw the ball nicely. Threw it hard, too. Brian Leahy to attempt the extra point now with 8.44 remaining. Greg Fisher gets a low snap but puts it down, and the kick is up and good. 8.44 left in the football game. Michigan 52, Northwestern 14. Let's pause now for these words on the Michigan Football Network. On inside the 30 to the 25, and Walter Smith is dribbling the ball at the 19. Maybe he's in that inter-squad scrimmage tonight, too. He finally dribbled it out of bounds at the 18. 32 nothing lead over Purdue. That's the same score by which Michigan beat them. Wheatley in the ball game at tailback. It's a handoff sweeping the right. Cuts it upfield, breaks one tackle out over the 20 to the 23. Tyrone gets five. Runs the ball. Dennis Washington, the fullback, plows forward for a couple to the 26. It'll be third and two. Thomas Homko a tackle to play because Derek Alexander suffered that knee injury in the opener. Handoff Wheatley going right. He hurdles a man at the line. There he goes. The 50, the 40, the 35, the 30. He's running away from the Wildcats. There's that great speed. And Tyrone Wheatley goes 74 yards for a touchdown. Woo! What a 
run. He just hurdled a man at the line of scrimmage, and again, Northwestern was jamming nine people up there, and once he got past the line, he just put it into overdrive, and Wheatley used that 4-3 speed to go 74 yards. He has 141 yards in nine carries today and two touchdowns, and they have been scintillating. If there is no wind, he also set the world record for the 74-yard dash. Wow, can he motor. I saw Warren. Warren was up with him step for step, though, Frank, as I looked down at him. Wow. Can Warren, I haven't seen. That was Tony Bowles-like speed right there. You agree, Warren? Warren's trying to catch his breath after staying <laughs> with Wheatley he's got the, the first oxygen four yards. Mask on. He has the oxygen mask on. Here's J.D. Carlson's extra point attempt. It is up, and it is good. And that is 118 in a row for J.D. Carlson. It is Michigan 59, Northwestern 14, 717 to go. We'll pause now for these words on the Michigan Football Network. In centers, Michael Centers grabs it on the 10. Comes up the right hash to the 20. Down he goes. Andy Stark in the middle of it again at the 26-yard line. The uniform just like Jesse Johnson. <laughs> Bob Thornblade. New quarterback in for the Cats. It's Kevin Krebs, and he hands the ball to Billy Greenwald, his fullback. He'll get a couple up to the 22 who missed most of the spring as a pitcher on the West, uh, Northwestern baseball team, hit as he throws by Alex Marshall, a division of the Midland Company. Crable also produces collegiate and professionally licensed sportswear. Now, the problem with that, Frank, is that Joe Hayden is the chairman of the Midland Company. I'm the president and chief operating officer of a division, and I, I hope he does not see that article. <laughs> Tyrone Wheatley fields the punt by Sutter back around the 35. He's in trouble. The Cats try to strip him of the ball. They'll settle for a piece of Wheatley scalp and haul him down at the 31. Additionally, for the past two years, Thornblade has provided the color commentary during Michigan football games for WJR on the Michigan Football Network. Bob and his wife, Chris, have four kids, and they're all very proud of Dad, aren't they? They should be. <laughs> well, we call it the Frank Beckman Show at our house, Frank. Yeah, right. He should be aware well, of you that. You do a great job. We're <laughs> glad to have you with us, Blade, as you have been for the past two years, and it's nice to see you in the program. What a wonderful picture, too. After all these years, my picture finally made the program. <laughs> they didn't list your career stats, however. <laughs> Ken Solom off a play action fake gives the ball to McThomas, and he comes through the left side, and he's up over the 40, and finally steps out of bounds at the 45. And Great player for Dan Devine there. McThomas again gets the call. He's up to the 45 for a misdirection play, and it Becomes even more so as Solom runs into McThomas. Finally delivers the ball to his running back, and McThomas says, thanks a lot. He's put him <laughs> in. He drops to throw. Blitz coming. He's still got time, and he delivers a rope on the right side. It is caught at the 40-yard line. A great grab by... Well, I've got to go to my... Uh, <laughs> My other Wasn't flip that chart. Was that Ellison? Or no, no, play? that's uh, that's Lavicious Johnson, Johnson, who's of course been moved to a wide receiving spot and took a terrific hit and held onto the football for a first down at the Cats 39. Big, that was a great big grab. time throw. Big. Solom gives the ball McThomas at left tackle, spins into the hole and gets about three yards to the 36 yard line. Hum Back to throw, a quick two steps in the left flat to Ellison. He's got it at the 32, side steps for Kett. And then heads up field, gets it inside the 30 and is knocked down by Steve Ostrowski. First down, Michigan. Wolverines 23 first downs. Handoff on the left side. Michigan going with the two tight end look. Handoff, Washington straight up the middle, just plowing forward. Doug Skeen shoving the pile, and he's <laughs> forward inside the 20, and Dennis might have a first down to the 18. Brady split out to the right with Ellison. Handoff on the left side, and Dennis Washington plows inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. Six yards in the ball game. 364. And has over 620 total yards, the most allowed by Northwestern this year. Flag down, whistles blow with a minute nine to play. Somebody moved too soon up front. 50 seconds to play. 
We're way behind on commercials, folks, and you on the network will give them to you as soon as we can. Dennis Washington straight up the middle down to the 15-yard line and still fighting. Look at this. He's still going, and he's inside the 12. And they give up. They He give lost the, the football. He had the ball taken away from him is what happened. Scrimmage we spoke about earlier is going to start at Chrysler right after the football game. Northwestern running the ball on first down from back at the 10, and they give it to Hugh Williams, the sophomore fullback out of Aurora, Illinois. I guess award is uh, is that uh, awarded by? I don't have a vote. I don't have a vote for that. But Derek Anderson's got a chance at that. Personal foul, Michigan. 15-yard penalty gives Northwestern a first down out at the 38. Hand off Hugh Williams again off the right side. He's out over the midfield stripe and has another first down, and the clock winds down to 10 seconds. That should be the final play of the football game. We got Van Dyke. We'll uh, join them in just a moment. 59-14 Michigan as the clock winds down. Let's go down with Warren right now. I don't think any play is going to really uh, make anyone... Uh, worry about what's going to happen. I don't think anybody's going to lose sleep over this uh, next play. Uh, Warren Pierce will watch one final play as Kevin Krebs calls the signals and you talk to Yale Van Dyne. Well, that's it. The, uh, the time is out. 59-14 Yale Van Dyne. You have to be pleased as a walk-on performing so well, of course, in replacing hey, Alexander. Uh, yeah, you know, I just, yeah, Michigan, they expect you to, to play well. The second team guys comes in and he's supposed to play well so I, they expect that here and I expect it as well out of myself so and last year I was the third receiver I was basically in you know pretty much the same amount so it, was, it must be a thrill too uh, playing alongside a fella by the name of uh, Howard Magic Howard and seeing him break all these records yeah it definitely is I mean he's in my opinion is the, the best receiver in the United States in college football for sure and uh and he is, it's definitely uh, with him, they put two, three guys on him, so, you know, it leaves me open, so it's good for me, too. Going into this game, did you expect, of course, uh, the Wildcats had come off an upset at Illinois, beat Michigan State, were on a, a two-game win streak there. You expected to be a 45-7 halftime score? No, no, we didn't expect that, but, you know, we started out fast. The first play of the game, Desmond went, or, you know, went way down the line for touchdown, and uh, I think that just set the, t the tone for the day. And, you know, going into a Wildcat game against Northwestern, you can, I suppose, suffer an emotional letdown. It looked like everybody was very intense, like you might be playing even Ohio State here today. Well, Mo, he, you know, he tells us any day, any team can get beaten in college football. And so we came in with that attitude, knowing we had to come in to go to the Rose Bowl. We had to beat Northwestern. We weren't looking past them. All right, congratulations on a great season so far. Thanks a lot, Mo. All right, and that'll uh, have to do it from down here as the uh, player move up, move past me. Someone put a nice block on me get his number it was graves graves uh, sent me graves. right into the, yeah sent me nice block right into the brick wall here in the tunnel but i'm okay i'll walk it off and i'll be all right for next saturday afternoon's game against the uh, university of illinois fighting a line i should be a interesting matchup there should be indeed warren we'll see you down there in champagne much more to come in our post-game coverage of michigan football the Wolverines 59 to 14 victors over Northwestern today. For you network stations, we're way behind on commercials. You folks stay tuned. We've got a lot to come on our postgame coverage of Michigan football. Uh, this private message to our network stations now. We're going to take positions 34 and 35 right now as we tell you our final score. Exactly. Michigan 59, Northwestern 14 here on the Michigan Football Network. 